Here's what I've been uh, trying to figure out. I got into online shopping recently. I guess that's a thing. <laughs> Here's what I've been doing, though. I shop for things that are, like, way out of my price range. And then after a while, I go, oh, yeah, uh, I can't afford that. <laughs> like, today I was looking at yachts. <laughs> online. And then I was telling myself I didn't want them as if they were an option, you know? <laughs> I was like, 155 feet? That's not even big enough for all my friends and family. I'm not getting that shit. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? You ever do that? You ever go down like a rabbit hole online and then like six hours have gone by and you're like, I'm shopping for the private jet that best suits my needs. <laughs> I think I found This is it right here. The G550. How much is this place order? $53 million. <laughs> oh. Maybe not now, but maybe later. I'll just bookmark that shit for now. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a sense of entitlement. That's me thinking I should be associated with this thing, and I haven't earned it. I have neither of you, but also me. <laughs> I get that feeling the most when I get upgraded to first class. Yeah, I fly every week. I never buy first class tickets, I buy coach tickets. I buy them so much, I get bumped up to first class. I'm telling you, the moment I get bumped up to first class, I get washed over with this feeling. I'm like, look at these fucking poor pieces of shit. <laughs> Ugh. So much better than them. <laughs> Don't stand next to me. Ugh, dude. I dare you to try to come up from coach and use the first class bathroom when I'm there. I'll put my hand on your chest, okay? <laughs> There's a pig trough in the back. That's for you guys. <laughs> it's for the big ballers up front. <laughs> Some people buy first class tickets. I always feel like they know you got upgraded. They always give you the look like, by the way, we fucking know. <laughs> You can sit up here, but you're not like us. <laughs> God, it's so weird. People, people ask me, create, like, I get asked fucking travel advice from strangers. Can we just break down how crazy that is? Like, people come up to me and they're like, hey, you travel a lot, right? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Where should I go? <laughs> uh, I don't fucking know you, man. <laughs> You ask travel advice to people who know you intimately. They know you well. They can guide you based on what they know about you. I mean, you don't ask strangers dining advice, right? Because you're like, hey, I, well, where should I eat tonight? I know I've never met you before in my life, but do you think you could give me a recommendation? Uh, yeah, you should try this dim sum place. And, but then that person might go, oh, I hate the Asian world. And you're like, oh, shit, I didn't know that about you. Like, yeah, I killed like four of them. Like, what are you, like a serial killer or something? Yeah. <laughs> now you're in an awkward conversation with a serial killer.